Bonjour la classe. Le titre aujourd'hui, c'est Allez les champions. To start, I'd like you to have a look at the six questions in yellow. Qu'est-ce que tu fais comme sport et pourquoi? Est-ce que tu as commencé ton sport à un très jeune âge? Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire pour être champion ou championne? Est-ce que tu as participé à une compétition récemment? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire à l'avenir? Est-ce que tu as un héros sportif ou un, une héroïne sportive? I'd like you to start by matching up those questions and please pause the video now to allow you to have time to write those down. So, number one. Qu'est-ce que tu fais comme sport et pourquoi? What sport do you do and why? De, est-ce que tu as commencé ton sport à un très jeune âge? Did you start your sport at a very young age? Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire pour être champion? What must you do to be a champion? Now, why do you think we have an any, an extra any in brackets there? Fantastic. Yes, it's the feminine form, champion. Est-ce que tu as participé à une compétition récemment? Have you taken part in a competition recently? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire à l'avenir? What are you going to do in the future? Est-ce que tu as un héros sportif ou une héroïne sportive? Do you have a sporting hero or heroine? So today we are going to be interviewing a sports person and asking and answering questions in three tenses. We're going to begin by looking at the key grammar for today. Now hopefully you remember some of this, but this is a really good table to show you how to form regular ER verbs in three tenses. What we mean by ER verbs are verbs that in the infinitive end in ER. So we have the past tense, the perfect tense here. So that is formed by using the subject, so that's the person doing the verb, the auxiliary verb, which is the helping verb, and the past participle which is formed by taking off the ER and adding an E accent. So we have j'ai admiré, I admired, j'ai commencé, I started, j'ai joué, I played, j'ai marqué, I scored, in brackets, a goal. Then we have the present tense, which is formed with the subject, again the person doing the verb, and the verb in the present tense. In uh, For ER verbs, for je, it's an E ending, and hopefully you remember the song je, you add me to, you add a yes, eat an L, you add a E, half a banana. No, you add O and S, foo. You add E, Z, eat an L, you add E and T, symphony. And that's how you form the present tense endings from regular ER verbs. And then we move on to the future tense. That's formed with the subject, the part of avoir, and the verb form in the infinitive. Now, can you remember what an infinitive verb is? Yes, it's a verb that we would translate as to something. So, admirer, to admire. Commencer, to start. Jouer, to play. Marquer, to score. Participer, to participate. Commencer, to start. Travailler, to work. Trouver, to find. I've just noticed that there's commencer there twice. That's a mistake. Okay, so, um, if I was to say to you, please translate for me, I worked. I have worked. I worked. What would you say? Très bien. J'ai travaillé. What about I admire? Very good. J'admire. Um, what about I am going to find? Je vais trouver. In the textbook, we have a text that's titled Un futur champion de foot, a future champion of football, and there are uh, six phrases that he uses to talk about his football career so far. So he says, J'ai commencé le foot à l'âge de quatre ans. Je joue au foot parce que je trouve le foot plus facile que les autres sports. Moi, j'admire qu'il y a Mbappé parce qu'il marque beaucoup de buts pour les Bleus. 
Pour être champion de foot, il faut avoir de l'assurance. Je vais m'entraîner tous les jours, mais je vais aussi travailler dehors au collège. Le mois dernier, j'ai participé à l'Eurocup en Belgique. C'était passion. I want you to reread back through those sentences and try and work out if they're in the past, the present or the future tense. So you're looking out for things like E accents for the past tense and you're looking for uh, parts of avoir for the future and you're looking for verbs in the present tense form for the present. I'd like you to pause the video now, write down A, B, C, D, E, F and past, present or future. Okay, so A is in the past tense. We have the subject, the auxiliary verb avoir, and the past participle, commencer. B is in the present tense, je, you add ni. So we have je joue, je trouve. C is in the present tense. Again, we have e's on the end there. J'admire, il marque. D is in the present tense again. Il faut avoir, you must have. Now, this is a bit of a different construction there because we've got il faut in the present and the, ver the infinitive verb avoir. The next one's in the future. Hopefully you spotted that because you had the subject, you had part of avoir, je vais, and the infinitive, m'entraîner, or je vais travailler. And lastly, we had a past tense sentence. And you might have spotted that from le mois dernier, last month, or from the uh, verbs j'ai participé, I participated, or c'était, it was. I'd now like you to try and translate these six sentences into English. And if you get stuck on any, why not go on Colin's uh, French English dictionary to look up words? Although I have given you a lot of words to help you there. One of the words mentioned is les bleus, and that is an expression uh, talking about the national football team of France, okay? Um, so they refer to them as les bleus, and hopefully you may have seen France play football, they wear a blue outfit. So please pause the video now and get on with translating those sentences. So A, I started football at the age of four years old. B, I play football because I find football easier than other sports. C. Me. I admire Kylian Mbappe because he scores a lot of goals for the national team of France. D. To be a football champion, you must have confidence. E. I'm going to train every day, but I'm also going to work hard at school. F. Last month, I participated in the Euro Cup in Belgium. It was exciting. So I now like you to listen to the interview and answer the following questions. Please write these down in your book, one to seven. So what sport does she do? Where was her recent competition? What place did she come in the competition? What time does she get up to train? What does she not eat? Who is Mariana Vos? And what does she want to do in the future? Now I've given you the transcript to help you but you'll also have the characters reading those out. Un. Qu'est-ce que tu fais comme sport? Je fais du vélo. J'adore le cyclisme. C'est mon sport préféré. Qu'est-ce que tu fais comme sport? Je fais du vélo. J'adore le cyclisme. C'est mon sport préféré. Deux. Est-ce que tu as participé à une compétition récemment J'ai participé à une compétition le week-end dernier, en Belgique. C'était pour les jeunes de 12 à 14 ans. Est-ce que tu as participé à une compétition récemment J'ai participé à une compétition le week-end dernier. En Belgique. C'était pour les jeunes de 12 à 14 ans. 3. 
Est-ce que tu as gagné la compétition Non, je n'ai pas gagné. J'ai fini troisième. Ma copine américaine a gagné. Est-ce que tu as gagné la compétition Non, je n'ai pas gagné. J'ai fini troisième. Ma copine américaine a gagné. 4. Qu'est-ce que tu fais tous les jours Je me lève à 5 heures et je fais du vélo. Puis, je vais au collège. Le soir, je vais à la salle de fitness où je m'entraîne. Qu'est-ce que tu fais tous les jours Je me lève à 5 heures et je fais du vélo. Puis, je vais au collège. Le soir, je vais à la salle de fitness où je m'entraîne. 5. Est-ce que tu manges équilibré Pour être champion, il faut manger équilibré. Je mange beaucoup de fruits et de légumes. Il ne faut pas manger trop de bonbons. Est-ce que tu manges équilibré Pour être champion, il faut manger équilibré. Je mange beaucoup de fruits et de légumes. Il ne faut pas manger trop de bonbons. 6. Est-ce que tu as un héros sportif ou une héroïne sportive Mon héroïne sportive, c'est Marianne Voss. Elle est championne olympique et au moins douze fois. Oui, douze fois. Championne du monde. Est-ce que tu as un héros sportif ou une héroïne sportive Mon héroïne sportive, c'est Marianne Voss. Elle est championne olympique et au moins douze fois. Oui, douze fois. Championne du monde. 7. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire à l'avenir Je vais travailler dur et je vais participer au tour du Yorkshire féminin en Angleterre. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire à l'avenir Je vais travailler dur et je vais participer au tour du Yorkshire féminin en Angleterre. If you want some more time before I go through the answers, why not pause the video now? Okay, so what sport does she do? Well, she does cycling. She says, je fais du vélo and j'adore le cyclisme. There's two different ways of saying cycling there, vélo and cyclisme. Her recent competition was in Belgium, en Belgique. What place did she come in the competition? Well, she came third, she says, J'ai fini troisième. I finished third. What time does she get up to train? She gets up at 5 a.m. That is early indeed. What does she not eat? She does not eat too many sweets. She says in number five, Il ne faut pas manger trop de bonbons. You must not eat too many sweets. Who is Mariana Voss? Well, she is an Olympic champion and her sports heroine. What does she want to do in the future? She wants to participate in the Women's Tour de Yorkshire in England. Your homework for today is to translate the first four question and answers uh, from that audio we've just listened to. Now, if you're stuck on translating the questions, why not go back to the starter as there are some similarities here. And I've also given you a lot of vocab to help you. Again, if you get stuck, have a look on Colin's online French dictionary uh, to help you with that. Please send your translations to me if I'm your class teacher or to your class teacher if it's different to me and the first person to send it in to me will receive three merits and after that I'll be given one merit for every good entry. Next week we'll be on to looking at uh, some quiz and activities so this is your last video for this year. I hope you're all well. Au revoir la classe!